we are inside the monastery near the main architectural complex uh, that includes uh, the main uh, Transfiguration Cathedral and also some churches and uh, buildings this direction. Uh, all this beautiful uh, monastery uh, was built uh, through uh, the centuries uh, from 16th century and then later uh, partly due to the plenty of fish in the White Sea. Uh, the monastery was um, founded in the 15th century and uh, very soon it became the richest and the biggest monastery in the Russian North and it controlled the vast area uh, around all the White Sea, uh, important uh, fishing grounds and also salt producing uh, grounds and at the same time, the monastery was the capital of big trade empire, having uh, some activities in the most important markets like Vologda and Moscow. Uh, the richest, without any doubts, the richest monastery in the Russian North. The water you can see behind me is uh, the monastic port through the ages and uh, since uh, the monastery was founded, uh, the ships and uh, the boats used to uh, come here uh, and uh, then uh, the commodities were transported. Uh, very, very far away uh, behind me you can see the small gate in the wall. These small gates are very important for us. Uh, they are named uh, the fish gates and uh, they were mainly for the transportation purposes. Uh, fish was uh, an important part of uh, the commodities uh, transported through these gates uh, from the ships to the monastic uh, storage places or back again to the ships to be transported to the market and then sold to the public. This uh, building in the shadow uh, behind me uh, is the uh, drying storage or drying building uh, and this is uh, the storage for the fish mainly. Uh, the monastery itself is not the pro production place but it is a sort of general staff, a sort of uh, brain center for the huge economy uh, and for the huge uh, vast area a significant part of fish uh, caught in the different uh, places controlled by the monastery from the barren sea and also from the white sea a uh, significant part was kept uh, here and the uh, elder who was responsible for this building he was uh, known as the drying elder the uh, elder of the drying service We are now in the very center of the kingdom of the drying elder. He was responsible for the provision of all the monks and the monastic uh, servants. And this is uh, the center of his possessions, uh, like the meal, for example. And the very central point we are interested in is the drying building, the drying place. In the document, we got the mentions of salted and smoked uh, salmon, salted whitefish, uh, cod and uh, halibut, salted and dried, and um, white sea herring, uh, and also some river fish, for example, pike. In the documents, uh, we got very precise information on uh, all the fish kept here and also uh, on all uh, the uh, provisions uh, when uh, the elder let somebody to get some fish to use it somehow he recorded all details concerning this uh, subject like uh, some fish to feed the monks or to feed uh, the servants or somebody sent somewhere and he got some fish with him to feed himself or to present it to, uh, to somebody to some governmental official for example. We are now in the uh, economic part of the monastery, inside the monastery itself. And the nice buildings we have here, they were constructed in the 17th century and were used uh, as a storage places for uh, clothes and shoes. The monastery had the closed economic system and uh, the monks provided themselves uh, by their own uh, with all the necessities, including the shoes. And uh, the shoes industry here 
is strongly connected to the marine mammals hunting because uh, uh, the skins of uh, the marine mammals, including the seals hunted in the White Sea area in the vicinity of uh, the island, uh, was the main raw material for the shoes produced here. After the revolution, the monastery was closed. In 1923, a huge uh, fire uh, took place here, and uh, the most, uh, the, the major part of the interiors was depleted. Uh, and uh, later, uh, the prison was situated in the monastery and uh, in all the island, and a lot of people spent the uh, the worst uh, days of their life. Uh, the whole uh, cemetery on the mon on the island uh, is filled with the graves of uh, the prisoners. But since 1990, the monastery is here again, and now it's uh, the museum and also the monastery in the same building. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of visitors uh, come here, and uh, the monastery complex now is the part of the list of the cultural heritage of humankind created by UNESCO.